Hi everybody, welcome to Elementary Classical Mechanics, the subject where observing the universe suggests new mathematical and computational approaches that can literally transform our way of modeling and predicting any aspect of the world. Welcome back to the second lecture for Chapter 7, where we're going to introduce the notion of power, or the rate of doing work. Power. The time rate of doing work on a particle is called the instantaneous power or just power. Okay? And it's just like I said, time derivative of work. So there's another slick way of writing this. If F denotes the force acting on a particle and V is the velocity of the particle, then the power is just F dot V and you should verify that to yourself. So let's look at a simple example, but there are some interesting aspects of this. Suppose a particle of mass m moves under the influence of a force field along a space curve whose position vector is given by this expression. Find the instantaneous power applied to the particle by the force field. So I didn't give you the force, right? So how are you going to get this? Newton's second law. You have the position vector. You differentiate it twice. You get the acceleration. Multiply it by m, and you have the force. So that's an interesting point, an important point. If you know the motion, you can infer the force. OK, so you do exactly what I said. To differentiate once to get the velocity, and then we need that. Differentiate twice to get the acceleration. Well, then the force is given by mass times acceleration, and the power is f dot v. And so we have v, we have f, we compute the dot product, good little exercise, and we get this expression. That's the power. <laughs> okay. So, in the next lecture, I want to stop here. We're going to introduce the notion of kinetic energy. Really important idea that's going to play a big role in the rest of the course. So, bye for now.